11 Labs Best Voice Settings Tutorial Step-by-Step. -step. In this video, I am going to be talking to you about 11 Labs and how you can use this incredible platform to give you great text-to-speech or speech-to-speech -speech and how you can apply the best settings for this, all right? Now, when you start off with 11 Labs, you can go ahead into the speech section and type in anything. Like, let's say I want to write, okay, I'm going to write that, then I'm going to choose a voice. So let's say I'm going to go with a female voice, all right? And then it gives me little settings over here. Now, those are what we're going to change. But let's see currently what the voice actually sounds like. So we're going to... Hi, my on. name is Jessica. So you can see it's pretty decent, but it looks, t it sounds too much like a robot, right? And that is not what we want. We want it to be better. We want it to actually give us good delivery, okay? So... We can also change the voice. So let's say let's go with Charlotte. Okay. And once you go with Charlotte, we're going to click on generate speech. Hi, my name again. is Jessica. So as you can see, again, very robot voice, very AI voice. It doesn't give you the realism effect. Okay. So for this, what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to advanced. Now, once we're in advanced, I'm going to write in a big sentence like, hi, my name is Jessica. And I am glad to meet you. Okay. So once we've done that, first of all, it's going to give you the model. So what model would you like to use? Obviously, I'm going to go with the English model, which is an 11 multilingual V1, V2. So let's go ahead with the multilingual V2, which is obviously the version 2 method. Or you can also go with 11 turbo. Okay, it's basically cutting edge turbo model, which is pretty suitable for tasks with low latency and low work. So the best would be 11 multilingual V2. Now, once you're done with that, now we have stability and then we have similarity. Okay. And then finally, you also have style exaggeration. So first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure like most people think that if we just, you know, fully take this to full, we take this to full and we take this to full. That's going to mean that our character is going to sound amazing, but that's not the case because as you can see, I'm on the full right now. We're going to click on generate speech. And you're going to see AI. AI. My name is Jessica. And I'm your look. <laughs> so you can see that's just not it. Okay. It sounds pretty off. And we don't want to go with that. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the style exaggeration at, let's say, a 35. Let's take the similarity down to 55. And let's keep the stability till, let's say, 58. So let's see how it sounds now. So once you click on generate. My name is Jessica. And I am glad to meet you. So as you can see, still right now, the exaggeration is pretty high. So I'm going to keep the exaggeration at, let's say, 15. Let's go with similarity to 22. And let's go with the stability to, let's say, 34. So just like this, you're going to experiment. Hi. My name is Jessica, and I am glad to meet you. So now you can see it actually sounds much closer to an actual human being, right? So I'm going to take the exaggeration a little higher. Let's take the similarity lower. Let's keep the stability high. Then we're going to generate it once hey, again. Hi, my name is Jessica, and I am glad to meet you. So again, the exaggeration bit is killing the voice a bit, so... We're going to keep it to this much. And now, let's Hi, see. Hi, my name is Jessica, and I'm glad to meet you. So that sounds perfect, in my opinion. That sounds like an actual human. So this is what you're going to mainly do. There's no proper voice setting that you can keep. But if you actually want to go with a default template, then what I would say is keep your stability around 30 to 40. Don't go below 30, and don't go above 45. Similarity, I would prefer you to keep this around 0 to 20, not more than that because then it's just going to be too much across the accent. And then the style exaggeration, again, not too high because that really messes up with the accent. All right. So, yeah, this is basically the main idea about Levin Labs. Any AI or any voice you use, you're going to need to experiment with it. But eventually you'll find the best setting according to this template that I've just told you. So, yeah, that's pretty much about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like, subscribe to the channel. And I will be seeing all of you in the very next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.